Hey there, Marvel fans! Eagerly anticipating the next Avengers movie, aren't you? Well, while the plot with Thanos is incredibly epic, it's only natural to dwell on what's coming next to the MCU. What are we gonna see after the end credits? Another threat and another villain even more terrible than the Mad Titan, perhaps? I suggest we look at what the Marvel Universe has to offer in this regard. I bet you won't be disappointed. So, who do we start with? I think with one of the most controversial Marvel characters, Galactus. You see, while Thanos is driven by his own moral, albeit twisted, code, Galactus will have none of this nonsense. He was a mortal man once, but he transformed into an almost all-powerful entity in a cataclysm of a universal scale. Galactus is dubbed World Devourer for a good reason. He devours entire planets to feed himself. If you're a fan of the MCU, you must have seen his presence in another movie, Fantastic Four – Rise of the Silver Surfer. The Silver Surfer is, in fact, his herald and errand boy of sorts. He seeks out worlds for Galactus to consume and prepares their inhabitants for destruction. I know what you might ask next. Wait, if Galactus made an appearance in another franchise, doesn't it mean he shouldn't be present in an Avengers movie? Well, since the Fantastic Four franchise has been relaunched, you can't help but think that Marvel would at least consider making Galactus the next uber-villain in the Avengers universe. To my mind, he makes perfect sense. However, so does the next guy on my list, and his name's Mephisto. If you're not an avid fan of comics, you might have missed this character altogether. But hey, the MCU introduces new villains all the time, so why not him? But let's start with the basics. Mephisto is a seemingly immortal, demonic being that does all kinds of evil stuff. He's based on the notorious Mephistopheles from Goth's Faust and bears a great resemblance to that demon. If you remember Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage, the one who turned Johnny Blaze into a biker with a flaming skull was none other than Mephisto. However, that's only a tiny particle of his real powers, and those are immense. He possesses all kinds of magical skills, shapeshifts, and can even alter time itself. As a demon, he acquires even greater power when he's in his own realm. In the comics, he's even battled it out on par with Galactus. Could he be the next Avengers ultimate foe? As likely as anyone, if you ask me. But let's not forget about the villains that have already made their appearance in the MCU. How about Dormammu, for example? Although Doctor Strange stalemated him in his very own movie with the help of only a single Infinity Gem, Dormammu is still a force to be reckoned with. As you may remember, Doctor Strange didn't defeat the Mighty Being, he only made him leave Earth alone using the power of the Time Gem. Dormammu is the ruler of the Dark Dimension, a realm of his own. His ambitions have always lain in the human world, however, so he makes a great supervillain to combat the Avengers. To top it off, in the comic universe, he teamed up with Loki, another recurrent baddie, to confuse, guess who? The Avengers. So, if he becomes the one to confront the team of superheroes after Thanos, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Will you? Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Still, speaking about forces greater than Thanos himself, we should remember his one real love, death. No, not the abstract death that eventually comes after all things mortal, but death incarnate. You see, in the Marvel multiverse, such notions as love, hate, eternity, and, well, death are all personified, and Thanos kinda worships his lady love. Yes, it's a she. It's not really clear from the movie, but in the comic series, the Mad Titan does what he does for the sake of death. So, should we be surprised if there happens to be a plot twist that includes this humanized force of nature? Who knows? Maybe when the Avengers finally deal with Thanos, his mistress will decide to avenge him. Pun intended. Sorry. This could raise the stakes enough for the next grand battle of the universe. But what if we got to an even higher level of power? Something so incredibly mighty you can't even fathom its hugeness. That would be awesome in a sense that even the Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy combined would probably not be able to fight such a foe without some extra help. And that foe is Abraxas. To get my meaning, consider this. He's basically the embodiment of destruction. Or if you prefer, destruction itself. 
Remember how I told you that Eternity is also a human-like being? Well, Abraxas has grown inside him. He's the natural counterpart of Eternity, which is the creator of worlds, and he seeks to escape his parent and guardian. Once upon a time, he actually managed to do so. Why do I say he's on a whole new level of power? At the very least, because he defeated Galactus like it was nothing. Another universe is Galactus, but Galactus all the same. And that's something to ponder on. If such a guy decides to attack our poor Earth, or our poor universe for that matter, not even the Avengers will have a chance against him. A terrifying prospect indeed. There's one more supervillain that holds a grudge against Earth. Annihilus. An insectoid overlord of a realm called the Negative Zone, Annihilus was originally angered by the Fantastic Four in the comic series. After they escaped his wrath, he seeks nothing else but to destroy Earth, although he can't go out of the Negative Zone of his own will. Eventually, though, he finds a way out and gathers an enormous fleet of battleships to conquer the whole universe. See the rise of ambition? You bet! Do you think a giant armada of insectoid aliens is just what the next Avengers movie needs? Share your opinion in the comments! Now to the tastiest part of the show. All the guys I told you about earlier are cool and all, but they have two drawbacks that make them less likely candidates for supervillains in the upcoming Avengers movies. First, they have rather dubious connections with the current MCU state. Second, they are no match for the ones I'm going to tell you about in a moment. So, who are these powerful enemies of the universe? For one, there are Celestials. These are cosmic entities whose origins are not exactly known in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've seen one of them in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. Remember Ego, the living plant? That's him. Celestials are the original masters of the Infinity Gems, so it only makes sense that one or two of them would return to take the gauntlet from Thanos. If they managed to do so, that would be one huge twist. You could only wonder what a creature far more powerful than Thanos without the gauntlet could do with one. Still, I somehow doubt that the Infinity Gems assembled will take a large part in the upcoming movies. That brings us to the last, but not in any way least, character to assume the role of uber-villain. Lord Chaos If this name doesn't ring a bell, I don't blame you as it hasn't yet appeared in any of the MCU movies, but I strongly believe that it should. You see, when Thanos snapped his fingers and destroyed half the universe, he basically crippled the natural course of events, and that couldn't have gone unnoticed by the big guys. In the Marvel mythos, those big guys are two brothers, Lord Chaos and Master Order, each representing the quality their name suggests. When the scale is tipped by Thanos' actions, Lord Chaos just might become interested in taking over the universe for himself. And despite being a cosmic entity with seemingly infinite powers, he still has a brother who will always oppose him. Doesn't that make for a cool collaboration if the Avengers team up with Master Order to stop the evil force of Lord Chaos? Sounds like an epic battle to me. So there you go, Brightsiders. I think I've covered most of the possible villains to face the Avengers in Movie 5. Do you have any suggestions of your own? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you agree with my theories, share it with your Marvel fan friends, and hit the subscribe button to always stay on the bright side of life.